so far we have discussed what is a resistance and what is a resistor different types of resistors and circuit symbols of resistors now we are discussing about specifications of a resistor why we need specifications we when we generally go for a mobile shop asking give me a mobile definitely the shopkeeper asks you which company mobile you want whether you want normal mobile or smartphone what is the ram requirement what is the camera megapixel some specifications he enquires based on that he will give one mobile every mobile in the shop is a mobile only it is called as a mobile only but each mobile is different in its specification similarly when we go to the tv shop we observe different tvs every everything is a tv but they are they are with different specifications so here we already knew what is a resistor but now when we go to the shop give me a resistor then the shopkeeper asks what is the resistance value then if you say no 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 any value is okay i want resistor then he will give some value but if you are saying i want 100 ohms resistor because the resistance of a resistor is measured in the terms of ohms 1 kilo ohm is equal to 1000 ohms 1 mega ohm is equal to 10 to the power 6 ohms now the resistance value of a resistor is indicated on the resistor itself either the value is printed on the resistor or it is indicated with the color code how the resistance will be indicated by using some colors based on the color we can recognize what is the value of that resistor second one now you have taken a 100 ohms resistor but it may when you connect in the circuit it may not give 100 ohms exactly it may give 99 ohms or 1 at 1 ohms the variation of the resistance from the indicated value is called as tolerance so tolerance is the variation of the resistance from the indicated value it is expressed in the terms of percentage when i am saying it is plus or minus 5 percentage then this resistance value is in the range of 95 to 105 ohms when i say plus or minus 10 percent tolerance then the resistance value is in the range of 90 to 110 ohms so the variation of the resistance from the indicated value is given with the tolerance now third parameter we have already knew the resistance value 100 ohms and we also know the tolerance same 100 ohms resistor and plus or minus 5 percent tolerance but this resistor may be quarter watt resistor or half watt resistor or 1 watt resistor or 2 watt resistor or 5 watt resistor next specification is power rating or voltage what is power rating the maximum current a resistor can withstand without destroying is called as power rating so the power rating is the maximum current a resistor can withstand without destroying for example if this is a quarter quarter watt resistor then we already know power is equal to voltage into current so this equal to i square r because v is equal to ir so this equal to i square into r now we are taking a quarter watt resistor so this power is equal to 1 by 4 we want to know what is the maximum current and the resistance value is 100 therefore i square equal to 1 by 400 i is equal to 1 by 20 this equal to 0.05 
means 50 milli amperes. So this resistor with quad means 1 by 4 watt resistor with value 100 ohms, it can withstand maximum 50 milli amperes current. If you operate this resistor more than 50 milli amperes, then the resistor may destroy. So the maximum current a resistor can withstand is given by power rating. So when we say quarter watt resistor, 50 milli amperes is the maximum current it can withstand. Okay. So these are the main specifications. Resistance value it is indicated on the resistor either by using the color code or it is printed on the resistor. Tolerance, the variation of the resistance from the indicated value is called as tolerance. It is always expressed in percentage. Power rating or wattage. The maximum current a resistor can withstand without destroying is called as power rating. Or it is also called as wattage. It is always expressed in watts. Okay, some other specifications are there like temperature range, in what temperature range this resistor can operate, operating frequency, at what frequency this resistor can operate, electrical noise up to which level it can withstand, okay, voltage coefficient, these all are minor specifications. These are major specifications. When we go to the shop, these three things are required to select a proper resistor that is required for our circuit.